There was once again 16 different comic books on the newsstands with a cover date of December 1937. Feature Funnies number 3 published by Chesler. Feature Funnies was an American comic book magazine published by Comic Favorites Inc. in the U.S. for 20 issues from 1937 to 39 from publisher Everett Busy Arnold in collaboration with three newspaper syndicates. This was the first comic title released by the new company Comic Favorites Inc. which would become Quality Comics. Highlights include a Mickey Finn cover by artist Lank Leonard, and the clock appears in a seven-page story from writer-artist George Brenner. This early superhero story features the clock, the orchid, Mr. Glower, and Monk. The last appearance of the character had been in Funny Pages number 11. Lalapalooza is a four-page story from artist Rube Goldberg. And Will Eisner writes and draws Hawks of the Sea in a four-page story. He uses the alias Willis Renzi as the artist in this historical story, which features the first appearance of the hawk. The hawk and claw Carlos vie over a precious ruby that belongs to neither of them. This was reprinted from the British Wags comic magazine, number 17, from April 23rd, 1937. Funny Picture Stories, Volume 2, Number 4, published by Ultim Comics, December 1937, features a Christmas cover with a hippopotamus dressed up as Santa Claus, and the cover art is by Dick Ryan. Feature Books, Number 8, features Secret Agent X9, published by David McKay Publications, December 1937. The Secret Agent X9 art is not by Alex Raymond. It is by Charles Flanders who did the cover, and also there are 69 pages worth of Secret Agent X9 stories. It is a spy story which features reprints from the newspaper from 1937. There is a Mile High Pedigree copy of this book from the Edgar Church Collection. Lulu Number 8 from Sun Publications. This is a comedy comic magazine cover by R.C. Dell. The humor magazine featured adult type humor. The cover is in red and black only. Star Comics number 8, December 1937. This is a Christmas cover featuring Popeye and Mickey Mouse with toys and a Santa Claus bag. There is a severed head center spread by Fred Gardiner. The cover art is by Bob Wood. Star Ranger number 8 features western genre stories. The cover is by Fred Schwab and is called Dear Sandy Claus. There is a mile high pedigree copy of this book from the Edgar Church Collection. Some of the highlights of the art in this issue include Gustafson and Gardiner. Ace Comics number 9 from David McKay Publications, December 1937, features a Joe Musial cover. Cats and Jammer Kids, Pete the Tramp and Barney Google are featured on the cover art. Tex Thorne is featured in a four-page story written by Zane Gray with art by Alan Dean. Jungle Jim is in a four-page story from artist Alex Raymond. And Blondie is featured in a four-page story from artist Chick Young. Detective Comics number 10 from DC Comics, December 1937. Speed Saunders is featured on the cover art by Craig Flessel. And the character Speed Saunders is also featured in the six-page story drawn by Flessel. Will Eli writes and draws the six-page story, Larry Steele. Spy returns in a four-page story from Siegel and Schuster, the adventure story featuring Bart Reagan. And Siegel and Schuster also give us Slam Bradley in a 13-page story. The Funnies, number 15, published by Dell Comics, December 1937, features The Worry Wart in a cover. Highlights include Scribbly by Sheldon Mayer in a two-page story, Dan Dunn, four pages from Norman Marsh. Don Dixon and the Hidden Empire in a two-page science fiction story from writer Bob Moore and artist Carl Fufer. It reprints from the Don Dixon and the Hidden Empire Sundays at the Daily Eagle. And Tad of the Tanbark is a one-page story also from Bob Moore and Carl Fufer. Tailspin Tommy returns in a three-page story from writer Glenn Chafin and artist Hal Forrest, reprinting from the Tailspin Tommy Sundays at the Bell Syndicate. And Hal Forrest also gives us four aces in a one-page story. Our Boarding House with Major Hoople is a three-page story from writer Bill Fraze. The humorous story reprints from the Our Boarding House Sundays. And Bill Fraze 
born June 12th, 1898, lived until March 1969. An American cartoonist notable for his three decades of work on Our Boarding House, syndicated by Newspaper Enterprises Association. In 1939, he took over Gene Ahern's Our Boarding House from Bella Zaboli and continued to draw it until his death in 1969. Praise drew the daily and Sunday panels for our boarding house with Major Hoople from the 30s through the 60s. The strips were syndicated to hundreds of newspapers nationwide. He also created the cartoon version of The Lone Ranger and co-created The Green Hornet. Tip Top Comics No. 20, published by United Features Syndicate December 1937, features a Christmas cover with The Captain and the Kids, drawn by Rudolf Dirks. Tarzan appears in a story, but the writer and artist are unknown. And Al Cap gives us a five-page Lil Abner story. The Captain and the Kids are featured in a two-page story from writer-artist Rudolf Dirks. Rudolf Dirks, born February 26, 1877, lived until April 20th, 1968. One of the earliest and most noted comic strip artists. Well known for the Cats and Jammer Kids, later known as the Captain and the Kids. Dirks was born in Germany. His family moved to the U.S. The New York World newspaper had a huge success with the full-color Sunday feature Down in Hogan's Alley, better known as The Yellow Kid, starting in 1895. Dirks was asked to create a strip, so he created the Cats and Jammer Kids, and the first strip appeared on December 12, 1897. Gus Dirks assisted his brother with the Cats and Jammer Kids during the first few years until his suicide in 1902. Frankie Doodle appears in a three-page story from writer-artist Ben Batsford, who is an American cartoonist born June 5, 1893, in Canada. In 1921, he created the strip Billy's Uncle, which was syndicated until 1926. After that, he joined King Features Syndicate, where he drew Doings of the Duffs. From 1929 to 30, he drew Little Annie Rooney, and from 1934 to 38, he drew Frankie Doodle. In 1939, he drew Mortimer and Charlie based on Edgar Bergen's popular radio show, and in the early 40s, he illustrated the comic book Helpful Herbert. King Comics No. 21 from David McKay Publications, December 1937. Popeye is featured in a Christmas cover along with Wimpy and Henry, drawn by Joe Musial. There is Jack Burnley interior art in this issue. This title features reprints of some of the most popular newspaper comic strips. Gerber rates this as uncommon on his scarcity index, and there is a mile-high pedigree copy of this book from the Edgar Church Collection. New Adventure Comics number 22 from DC Comics, December 1937. Two kids are at the real North Pole with a letter addressed to Santa Claus in cover art by Craig Flessel, featuring the Eskimo and two kids on a sled. Gerber rates this an 8 for rarity, and there is a Billy Wright pedigree copy of this issue. Highlights in the life of the noted explorer A. Hyatt Verrill is a one-page story written and drawn by Will Eli. The non-fiction biographical story is the only appearance of this strip. Dale Daring appears in a two-page story, also from Will Eli. And Eli gives us Nadir, Master of Magic, a four-page story, which is an early fantasy supernatural story in comics. G-Woman is a lengthy nine-page story possibly by artist Tom Cooper. The detective mystery appears in only this one issue, featuring the characters June Justice as Operator 23 and Joe Dalton as the villain. Federal Men returns in a four-page story from Siegel and Schuster, featuring the characters Steve Carson and the first appearance of the villain Sammy Drake. And the Vikings appear in a two-page story, possibly written by Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson with art by Alex Anthony Blum. And this historical story is the last appearance of this strip. Popular Comics number 23 from Dell Comics, December 1937, features a Halloween pumpkin cover. Highlighted characters include Dick Tracy, Terry and the Pirates, Little Orphan Annie, Don Winslow of the Navy, Skippy, Smiling Jack, Harold Teen, Streaky, and Winnie Winkle. Mickey Mouse Magazine number 27, also known as Volume 3, number 3, from Western, December 1937. This may be the first printed appearance anywhere of Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The issue came out shortly before the movie was released, making this a special sneak preview of Disney's first feature-length cartoon. The Christmas cover features Mickey Mouse as Santa Claus, along with presents.
More Fun Comics number 27 from DC Comics, December 1937, features a Christmas cover drawn by Vince Sullivan. It includes Santa Claus, and Santa has a flat tire in this humorous cover. Gerber rates this issue as a 7, meaning scarce. Sandra the Secret Service appears in a three-page story, art by Will Eli. And Jack Woods appears in a four-page story written by Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson with art by Will Eli. Dr. Occult returns in a four-page story from Siegel and Schuster under the aliases of Leaguer and Ruths in this fantasy supernatural story. And in this story, Occult and Ellsworth battle a cult of snake worshippers. Radio Squad returns in a two-page story from Siegel and Schuster. The detective mystery features the character Sandy Keene. The Count appears in a two-page story from Vincent Sullivan. The humorous story features the characters The Count and Hives. This is the only appearance of this strip. Jack Wyatt appears in its only appearance ever in an eight-page story with art by Homer Fleming in this Western Frontier story. Mark Marson of the Interplanetary Police returns in a two-page story drawn by Tom Hickey. This is one of the earliest science fiction stories in modern comics. Craig Flessel gives us Pet Morgan in a two-page story, as well as Hanko the Cowhand in a two-page story, and Bradley Boys in a two-page story. Off the Set is a one-page story drawn by Gil Fox. The non-fiction story features celebrities in the movies such as Barbara Stanwyck, Betty Davis, and Carl Andre. And Are You Handicapped is a one-page non-fiction biographical story about Helen Keller. Famous Funnies number 41 from Eastern Color, December 1937. Still the longest running comic in modern comic format. The f- this features a Christmas cover drawn by Victor Pazmino. The humor cover features Santa Claus and Reindeer in the Sky. There is a Lost Valley Pedigree copy of this issue. Highlights include Buck Rogers in a four-page story from Phil Nolan with art by Dick Calkins in this early science fiction story. Copyright John F. Dilley. Life's Like That returns in a one-page story from writer-artist Fred Nayer, and it's copyright Consolidated News. War on Crime returns in a three-page story from writer Rex Collier, the art possibly by Kemp Starrett. This is the first modern crime genre story that continues issue to issue. S.M. Iger wrote Bobby in a one-page story aimed at children, copyright Eisner Iger. And Queenie appears in a one-page story from Bob Bliss, which may also be Jerry Iger in disguise. 